as soon as the boat hits the dock, the the teams are kind of supposed that they need to plan on being ready to lift the rigs out within two hours of hitting the, the, the welcome pontoon. And then after that, the boats, depending on the time of day, the boats will either get lifted out the same day or the following day. And this particular stop is quite compressed, but we've had an extra two days because of the boats having a quick leg. So we've actually got seven days out of the water here now. <laughs> if it wasn't a stopover, how long would you allow? If, it, if this wasn't a stopover and you were doing this in a refit yard, you'd be spending weeks doing it. You'd probably, you know, you'd probably be spending a month inside the shed doing a, you know, the servicing and the painting. But we've got a week. But we know we we plan for it. We've got the team, you know, in place for it. So all been well. So in here, the shelving unit here is literally everything that comes off the boat in terms of um, the supplied equipment and the the stacking bag so these triangular bags here and that has all the boats um, spares equipment so these ones are electrical spares they're all labeled up with whatever's inside them and they've got a, a maximum weight that they're allowed to be so everything comes straight into here and then after that once the the fundamentals of the boat come off like the winches and the deck gear that go into the boat yard for servicing then we turn our attention into this kit as well ready to then you know, check it, service it, replace anything that's been used, and then it go back on next week, ready for the next leg. Everything is uh, vacuum bagged, so it doesn't get wet, and it stays dry. It's not open to corrosion, for example. Um, and as soon as you open that, obviously that could be wet or something's missing. So it's a good guide for us to keep tabs on what's been used. And then if they use a lot of any particular item, then we can bolster it up, ready for a long leg. So things like some of the running rigging, so runner tails and main sheet, for example, that can you know, wear through um, and that will add weight which means that we need to carry more bags so there's a lot you have to balance it out because it's a lot more work for the sailors to stack it after maneuvers um, versus having some extra kit for you know the fact it's a longer leg and they're going to wear through things quicker so the the main focus for this week while the boat's out of the water is actually below the water line for us because you know the boats have a lot of time in the water um, and they're not designed to be sailed like this um, the, with the paint. You know, it can be blistered, it can start peeling off, etc. So from a performance point of view, below the water line is the priority for us. And that means uh, the, the keel, the bulb, the rudders, the dagger boards, and below the water line on the hull. After that, then it goes onto the deck, and that's the non-skid, because that's a safety factor. And then the top sides, okay, they're aesthetic, it's for the sponsors, but it's down the list from performance. So depending on the, the order of the boats coming in, the boatyard will hit the boats as they come in. So the winches, for example, is a classic. You need the winches to take the rig out and lift the boat out. But as soon as the boat's on the, on the cradle and the boat's generally clear, then the Harkin guys jump on with the shore crew and they'll whip all the winches off and they'll go. And they'll all get you know, racked up, ready for working through with a fine tooth comb. So that's done in sequence of the boats coming in, and it's, uh, it's much the same with the boat builders. They have a crawl through the boat, tap testing for DLAM or any, any initial areas of concern, um, so that they can factor that into the, you know, the ultrasounding guys. Um, and then for us, these are our workshop containers, and it's similar. All the all the teams have their own workshop container within the boatyard marquee. So we're working on the on the dagger boards here. The foils in general, uh, they're all taped up here for repainting on the leading edge, uh, just so you get a good laminar flow over the foil. But the, the foils normally get a good solid um, three to four days work on them. So this is our boom, and this is our, these are our rudders. So the NDTs will take care of the boats, they'll check them through, the booms, the foils, pretty much everything will just get an inspection. You know, this is Timmy, he runs the, the boat building side of the, the boat yard. So if he picks up anything that's an area of concern, he'll flag it with the NDT guys so that they can look at that quickly, so they can get a repair done.